Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated mascara routine because I figure that my old one is kind of old now and yeah, I just feel like that I've been trying out some different techniques with my mascara and so on because the last video that I did got many comments on my lashes being very clumped together and there weren't that many and they were very spidery and let me just give you a big warning or disclaimer or whatever I've got really long lashes on my own like in my own natural lashes and because my lashes are that long it doesn't really matter whether I use a voluminizing mascara or lengthening mascara, curling mascara, fattening mascara, whatever my lashes will always be long and therefore maybe to some people a bit more spidery however obviously I want to try to get some more volume in my lashes because that's what I need because as I said I've got really really long lashes however not that much volume so I've been trying some different techniques to get some more volume from the root to the tip and hopefully these can help you guys if you've got long lashes as well or if you just want some more volume. Now before actually applying the mascara onto my lashes and showing you my routine and so on, I just want to share with you five of my favorite mascaras at the moment. I would say that some of the mascaras that I've mentioned in the past, I still love them and some of these are actually the old ones that I want to share with you again. Um, but these five that I'm going to share with you today are those that I used like that I switch between every now and again and they're my favorites at the moment. I think they're amazing for different things as well and I'm sorry if I sound really sniffy. I'm a bit ill. Sucks, I know. <laughs> um, but bear with me and let me share with you my five favorites. Let's start out with the only drugstore one that I've got to share with you but this one is probably of all of these my favorite because I feel like that it both gives me volume, length, curl, everything that I want from a mascara. It is the Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline. It is absolutely amazing, guys. It is by far my favorite drugstore mascara. It is sensational. The brush looks like this, and as you can see, it's got kind of like this curl to it or curve, and it is really easy to work with. And the bristles are longer at the top than in the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. It really lasts on my lashes for such a long time as well. My biggest issue when it comes to mascaras is they smush on me so badly because my lashes are that long. So I need to find mascaras that really stay on me. And this one is not even waterproof, so it is amazing. Honestly, if you want to try a really good, affordable mascara, this is it. The next mascara I'm going to share with you is the newest one in my collection, but OMFG, it is so good. It is from um, Delilah Cosmetics and it is the one called Definitive Voluminizing and Defining Mascara and it is so freaking good. It really creates a nice drama and nice volume in the lashes and as I said before, I need some volume, I need some fattening kind of thing without going clumpy because I don't like clumpy lashes and this one just gives me that instantly. The brush looks like this and as you can see it's a bit bigger and a bit more bushy and so on than the less sensational and it really gives a lot of product into the lashes instantly but it also gives you a lot of volume as well. It is not too wet in texture either, it's very easy to work with. It just creates a lot of volume in my lashes and I really like that. A mascara that you've seen me use many times here on my channel is from Sephora. It is the one called The Mascara. It is both volume, length and definition. and. I totally agree and the brush looks like this and I remember seeing the brush for the first time thinking it's not gonna work. <laughs> I was so scared because I was thinking that this one was going to clump my lashes together because it's very, I don't know, it's a very tightly packed um, mascara brush. I've actually done, I did a first impression, I can link that down below, but I did a first impression when I tried it for the first time and I just remember it separated my lashes, made them long and Luminized as well and my lashes just looked amazing I've been using this one like a crazy person I've never tried any of uh, Sephora's own mascaras before but this one in particular is amazing it is so easy to work with once again and it stays on on and on and on second to last mascara is my Bobbi Brown Smokey Eye Mascara I really feel like this gives me a lot of everything once again it definitely creates some smoky eyes however the great thing about this one is that I feel like that this is so easy to build up so I can go from a very like normal standard everyday kind of lash look to a very out there smoky eye mascara look and that's what I really like you can really customize how much or how little you want in your lashes with this one and it's amazing easy to work with once again the brush is 
It is proof, if you ask me, as you can see, the bristles, they're not too long and it's not too clumpy either. It is just very easy to work with. I think this is a great beginner's mascara because it is easy, quick, simple, easy to work with and you can definitely build it up without it going clumpy in your lashes. However, I never really use this one on my bottom lashes. The one that I'm using on my bottom lashes is my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. This one is my favorite for my bottom lashes because Everything smudges on me. My bottom lashes, they're a nightmare because once again, they're so long, they touch my skin and therefore I need either a waterproof mascara on my bottom lashes or something that really lasts. It really stays on. I don't know what they've put in this one to make it last on me for such a long time, but it just works. It just simply works. This one is specially made for me and my bottom lashes because it is perfect for them. So those five were actually some of my favorite mascaras at the moment. I just think they're so freaking amazing and they all work so well but in different ways. The two mascaras that I'm gonna use today are these two because these two are the ones that I'm using at the moment. This is the Delilah Definitive Mascara and then the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes. So now I've zoomed you in obviously so you can see my lashes a bit more. Here they are without any mascara on and I haven't curled them yet because the next thing I'm gonna say is that I always curl my lashes. It is a must for me because my lashes, they are really, really long and depending on the mascara and the texture of the mascara, it can wear my lashes down a tiny bit. So, therefore, I use my Shumura Eyelash Curler. Once again, I don't know what kind of magic they've done, but this one is the best eyelash curler in the entire world. So, when I'm curling my lashes, I look down, get all of my lashes in there. I don't know if you can see it, I'm kind of like wiggling around just to make sure that all of them, they're in there and through the hole. And then I'm just pushing down and then it is curling my lashes and I like to hold it here for like 10 to 20 seconds so we'll just sit like this for a little while as fast forward oh yeah and by the way just make sure to get all the way into the root of the lash so you get the lift and the curl from in there and all the way out you see that how much it just gives you already now from just curling the lashes this side to this side. This is like superstar. This is just me. Once again, same technique. Look down, get all the lashes through, and then gently push down. And if you're doing it correctly, it shouldn't hurt at all, and it shouldn't be uncomfortable either. And always remember to do this before you apply mascara. Never do it after you've applied mascara. If you curl your lashes after you've used mascara, it will break your lashes, and you don't want that. Oh, that is so pretty. I love curling my lashes. The difference is unbelievable. The curl though. And now let's apply some mascara. And what I do is that I try to get all the way into the root of the lash and then I wiggle my way out. So just go in, wiggle, and then go out. And then I just do like this just to spread out the lashes and just to separate them so they won't go clumpy. And then I just wiggle actually. There's no real like way that I just keep doing it the same and same. I just always try to wiggle and make them go a bit more separated, at least in my first coat. So as you can see, all the way into the root and then wiggle out. And then in here I just go like this, so straight out. So I just try to separate them. And also the outer lashes as well because they're so long. and try to get all the way in there to the small baby lashes as well. It will give a much fuller look if they are coated as well. And here it is after one coat and as you can see it looks really really nice and full and they're still very separated, there's a lot of lashes still. So this technique really works so so well and the curl is still there, I don't know if you can see it. So this is the way that I want my lashes to look after one coat and let's just go for the other one as well. One more tip, whenever I take the brush out of the tube, I always take off the excess at the end because there's always a little too much. All the way in there, wiggle and get it out. So volume from the root to tip. And then just brush through just to separate. So 
So now I've coated both lashes and now I'm just gonna let them dry and while they're drying I'm gonna move on to the bottom lashes. And as I told you before, I use my Matte Extended Play Geek Black Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes because it stays on, it separates my lashes, it doesn't look too crazy. It's just a great bottom lash mascara. And once again, just remove the little nib at the end. As you can see, the brush is very long and very slim, but the bristles on it, they're actually quite um, short as you can see, so it doesn't go too cray cray when you use it. It's actually really easy to work with. And down here, I just go out like this. I don't want too much volume in my bottom lashes because they're already very long and there's a lot of them. And it's okay to make weird funny faces when you do your bottom lashes. So now I've applied mascara both on my top and bottom lashes and as you can see they look very full and nice and this is just from one coat. So I'm really really happy about the results for you know like just the day to day mascara look. Um, and I know to some people this may be way too much for mascara but this is the way that I like my mascara to look for an everyday look because I love lots of mascara, I like, I just like it, I think it looks so freaking pretty. However, as you can see now that it's dried and so on, there are some places where it looks a bit too thick or a bit too clumpy in my mind at least. For example, right there on my bottom lashes. Some of my smaller lashes down there, they've actually clumped together and I don't really like that look. So what I do is that I take a tweezer. The importance is that it's very, very fine at the tip as you can see, so you can really get in between because I'm using it to separate my lashes. I just try to go between the lashes that are stuck together and then just try to get them separated. And I also do it with my upper lashes if I feel like that some of them have clumped together. So I feel like that once I've done that my lashes look a tiny bit more wispy because they're not as clumpy as before. I think it looks really pretty and very flattering because it's not too clumpy. You can obviously just choose to keep it here and not do any more because this is more than enough. However, I like to go the extra mile sometimes and just apply a teeny tiny bit more. And when I do this, I like to use this one because once again it's very very long in the body of the mascara brush so I can actually be a bit more precise with it. Just touch the tips of those lashes that may not have gotten that much mascara on them from the first coat. So here are the lashes with the second coat, if you get what I mean, or just the tips that are a bit more defined and I really like that. Also personally, I think it's greater for when you're going out for parties or something like that because it just gives your lashes a bit more, like a bit of an extra oomph, which I like. I think it looks really nice and I know once again to some people this is way too much, but for me, I like it very much. <laughs> and here are my lashes from a distance and as you can see it doesn't look as cray cray when you see it from a distance. My lashes, they definitely look much more like defined now and I personally love that look because I think it looks much better and much more <clears throat> it just makes me feel so much more confident and I like full on lashes so if you're not into that that is totally fine but I like my lashes to be full on and yeah it is just a great look if you ask me but that was actually my Kiran mascara routine I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you like my lashes how they look I feel like they're very flattery and still very wispy but still with a bit more definition and some more volume. If you like this video, thumbs it up, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff and thank you so very much for watching and if you've got any video requests for me, let me know down below.